That'd be kind of nice, actually. Hey, maybe you could drive me around and help me out, and I could even pay you a little something for your time. Sure, that sounds great. And you know what? It'll be nice having a little extra cash to bet on college football. Yeah, I'd like to bet a hundred bucks. You want to pick a team? No, just take it. Yeah, I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louis, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? Uh, foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's, uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? Oh, mama! What on, Peter? Mama, Louie's not gay. He's, he's creative. Peter, hand me my gun and get out of here. I could get fired for this. And I can't go back to my job as a magician's assistant. And now, to pull the two sides apart. And wiggle your toes. I said, wiggle your toes. Yeah, that's, uh... That's why I wanted to talk to you before the show. Wow, you must be excited, Peter. Yep, guess I can cross this one off my bucket list. All that's left now is living the Pueblo lifestyle. Peter, what the hell did you do to the house? I know, it seems pretty lame until you realize I'm 58. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go lick the foot of a fleshy, pale woman for real sex 34. And Quagmire owes me a favor anyway, remember? Last time he went out of town, I sat on his eggs for him. Peter, it's time for lunch. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. We're having sloppy joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're having sloppy joes. <gasps> mongoose! <gasps> Mongoose! <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like it always ends badly for you two. And it can be tricky working with an ex. Look at Kermit and Miss Piggy. How are you feeling, Miss Piggy? I heard you called in sick yesterday. Yeah, I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> right, Kermit? <laughs> right? Please stop drinking. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! <laughs> I swear, Mama Trisha, I'm gonna make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Not like how Jesus feels about his kid. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa! Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes! Okay, I'm sorry, what happened at school today? You're kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a bigger dick. Wow, crazy! Oh, God, I've ruined Christmas! Like the little drummer boy when he got really into Neil Peart. Our finest gifts we bring, pa ra pa pum pum I told you I'm done with you. And besides, I'm off to the spa down at the club. How's the temp? Good and hot? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Hey, did you also not wash your ass before getting in? Yeah, that sign. It's the first thing I'm really good at. Plus, I love making other women bleed. But, you know, in ways besides the way, you know, they normally bleed. She means periods. Yeah, I got it, Stewie. But I'm telling you, Meg, something bad is going to happen. Like when you give a young athlete too much money. I, I gotta murder somebody. Peter, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job. Like when I was a pro football kicker. Yay! Now I can fist bump with black guys. Nailed it, Peter! There you go! Yeah! We going to the club tonight? Not you! Okay! He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that. He also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? 
Yeah, I'm with you. Just as soon as I finish getting the word out about the one thing more important. The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. They're ladies. Just one of them? That's the thing. It's both of them. What are the chances? What are the chances? The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. I'll tell you who should be saying his prayers. Santa. He messes with me, I mess with him. That's why I replaced one of his flying reindeer with an ordinary non-magical one. Cut it off! Cut it off! You know, I think this year is gonna be the best... Yay! Free horse! I'm sorry, Rupert, but the situation here has become unbearable. Like talking to someone with adult braces. So yeah, last weekend, Sheila and I took the kids up to the lake. It was great. We had great weather, fired up the barbecue. Sheila's parents came up towards the end of the when week. When are you going to get those off? 